I'm Chris Zarek, Director of the Veterans Resource Center at Edmonds College. I served in the Navy from 1989 to 2009 as a CB. Hi, I'm Fernando Moratala, Assistant Director of Security Operations. I served in the U.S. Marines from 2003 to 2007. This year, as we continue to share perhaps the greatest challenge to face our generation, we feel it is important to come together for our 8th Memorial Day ceremony to preserve this proud tradition we have created together and reflect on the sacrifice made on our behalf by others so we could be here today. We miss the company of all of you and the strong statement that you help us make each year that the fallen and their families are not forgotten. Dr. Amit Singh, our college president, would like to share the following statement with you. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual ceremony as we remember and honor those who served in the U.S. military and gave their lives to ensure our freedom. Our student and employee veterans enrich our campus and broader community with their dedication to service, integrity, and many other valuable skills gained while in the service. COVID-19 has made this a tough and challenging year. And I would like to take a moment to recognize our Veterans Resource Center Director, Chris Jark, and his team for their tremendous efforts in continuing to serve student veterans and others who are still attached with the service. I would also like to proudly acknowledge our student veterans persevering during this time. We know the transition from military life to civilian life brings a unique set of challenges. Add the current health crisis to that and you have a tough situation to overcome. I'm so inspired that you continue to work hard and keep moving towards your goal, even among all these challenges. We can all learn from you. Again, Thank you for joining us today to honor those special members of our community. Thank you. We thank you for your kind words and support, Dr. Singh. Over a year ago, none of us could have predicted or imagined the turn of events that has brought us here today. But we thank each of you for joining us virtually for our second virtual Memorial Day. And we look forward to being with you again in person. First, we acknowledge the Snohomish tribe. We would like to take a few moments to acknowledge our past, present, and future as guests on the Snohomish tribal lands. Thank you for allowing Edmonds College to make a place of higher learning on your homelands and giving us a place to hold ceremonies such as this. Next, we acknowledge everyone currently serving in the armed forces. These are the people who have taken an oath to defend what we hold dear. There is no greater calling nor any higher possible sacrifice. We acknowledge anyone who is a veteran. This group has done their duty, giving those that serve today the foundation to keep our freedoms and way of life safe and secure. Anyone who is a family member of a veteran or someone currently serving, these brave persons are the reason those in uniform do what we do. They watch us go and wait for us to come home, perhaps the hardest job of all. Last and perhaps most importantly, we acknowledge those who have made the supreme sacrifice for our freedom and the family members they have left behind. 
They may be gone from us physically, but they will not be forgotten. We remember their courage and selflessness and are inspired by it in our daily lives. And especially today, as we face and overcome our great challenges together. For those unfamiliar with military culture, it is a long-standing tradition to begin any ceremony by posting the colors, playing the national anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise in body or spirit where you are as the Naval Station Everett Honor Guard posts the flag and sound station performs the Star-Spangled Banner by Francis Scott Key, Jamie Salisbury, and John Stafford Smith. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. Next, the Edmonds Community College Drama Class will perform a white table ceremony written and directed by Jen Matthews. This will be followed by a moment of silence and the Edmonds Community College Memorial Day slideshow with music performed by Peter Ali. The table before you is in a place of honor. This table is our way of symbolizing that servicemen and women are missing from our midst. They are commonly called POWs or MIAs. They are unable to be with us today, and so this is how we remember them. The table is small and will be set for one, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her oppressors. Remember. The table itself is round to show that our concern for them is never ending. 
The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their motives when answering their call to duty. Remember! The single rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the life of each of the missing and their loved ones and friends who keep the faith awaiting answers. The vase is tied with a red ribbon, a symbol of our continued determination to account for our missing. Remember! The black napkin stands for the emptiness these warriors have left in the hearts of their families and friends. Remember! A slice of lemon reminds us of their bitter face, captured and missing in a foreign land. Remember! A pinch of salt symbolizes the tears of our missing and their families who long for answers after decades of uncertainty. Remember! The gloss is birthday, reminding us they cannot share a drink with us today. Remember! A candle is lit, reminiscent of the light of hope which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home. Away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. Remember! The empty chair, displayed an unknown face, represent no specific soldier, sailor, airman, or marines, but all who are here with us. Remember! Remember all of you who served with them and called in comrades, who depended upon their might and aid, and relied upon them, for surely they have not forsaken you. Remember! Remember, Remember until the day they come home. Remember. Remember. The slideshow is produced by Marine Veteran and Associate Director of Security Operations at Edmonds College, Fernando Moratala who supported us at each of our Memorial Day and Veterans Day ceremonies for the past five years. This video also features the music of Peter Ali. Peter is a talented and self-taught native flutist, creating his music not from notes, but from the spirit within. So each performance is unique and special. For the last nine years, Peter has taught workshops for Indian ed programs, private schools, and more recently teaches part-time at the Northwest Indian College. At the end of the slideshow, please observe a moment of silence to honor those we remember on this Memorial Day.
Remember, honor, reflect. During our brief history as a nation, countless men and women have sacrificed themselves to protect their fellow service members, their friends, and their family back home. Today, we remember all of those who suffered on our behalf and laid down their lives for the cause of freedom. We honor their sacrifice and we reflect on the price they paid for liberty and freedom for all. The battlefield cross is placed in honor of those who have perished as a way to pay last respects to those who died on the field of battle. At this time, I would like to call your attention to the battlefield cross being assembled at the Boots to Books monument. This battlefield cross, sometimes called the soldier's cross, dates back to the Civil War when soldiers were hastily buried between battles. For many, it was the uniform and equipment that identified the soldier, so their rifle was stabbed into the ground to mark their final resting place, creating a poignant memorial built from their gear. Anything which identified the fallen soldier was placed on the rifle so others would know who eternally rested there. Each piece of the battlefield cross has a meaning. The rifle. The rifle, bayonet affixed, is the most important tool to a United States fighting man or woman. It is the key to their survival. It is thrust into the ground, signifying that the one being remembered died in battle, fighting to the end. It also signifies that the battle is over when the rifle is left this way. The boots. The boots carry a service member through the fight for our freedom. They are the first and most important means of transportation. The boots are placed at the base of the rifle. They are worn and dirty, reminding us of that final march to that last battle. Dog tags. Dog tags are worn by each service member. They have imprinted into them all of the important identifying information regarding that individual. The dog tags are hung from the rifle so that the name of the fallen will never be forgotten. The helmet. The helmet is an important piece of protection on the battlefield. Some believe that the hat or helmet of the individual represents what that person stood for. And so the helmet is placed on top of the rifle, signifying that the battle is over and that a great sacrifice has been made. It will never be worn again. The battlefield cross stands in tribute and memory as we remember, honor, and reflect. Thank you for watching today's Remembrance. This past year has been very difficult for all of us, but it is very inspirational and important that we are able to still take a moment to remember and honor our fallen. We hope this is the last year we will be doing this virtually. Stay safe and we hope to see you all next year at the Black Box Theater.